In the pursuit of science and technology, humans are now dealing more and more with a world not seen by the naked eye. So here we'll be talking about two terminologies. One is nanoscience. Second is nanotechnology. When we talk about nanoscience, it deals with the study of exceptional small things that can be used across all other fields of science, such as biology, chemistry, physics, material science, and engineering. When we talk about nanotechnology, it is the application of science in a small scale, such as nanoscale. The term nano refers to a unit meaning 1 billion or 10 raised to negative 9. For example, a nanometer is 1 billion of a meter, hence nano expresses a very tiny amount or size. So, a nano scale can be compared to a size of a DNA. Or, 1 nanometer is a tennis ball, what a tennis ball is to the earth. What are the goals of nanotechnology? Of course, to strengthen structures, space industry and development, for example, for gadgets, clean energy, defense system, for medical purposes, and water filtration. And also, based on the latest researches, nanotechnology helps enhance the quality of the following. Number one in the list is biomaterials. These nanobiomaterials are being used in healthcare such as imaging tools as bioengineering to detect diseases, monitoring, prevention, treatment of several diseases such as detecting coronavirus. Second in the list is ceramics. An example of this is nanoceramics paint coating. This is being used as a carpeting coating to provide strong protection and shield that keeps the paint of the car to look shiny and brand new. Next in the list is metals. A good examples of this are tennis and badminton rackets. It increases the strength of the metal 200 times by rolling up the sheets of carbon atoms. And lastly, Polymers. So here in polymers, these have been used to enhance and strengthen the computer chips, especially its design. Some of the commercial applications of nanomaterials are the following. Number one in the list is sunscreens. This sunscreen provides protection from the harmful UV rays of the solar radiation. These have been possible through the use of nano-sized zinc oxide that reflects and absorbs UV rays and meet its ultraviolet resistance. Second in the list is self-cleaning windows. These self-cleaning windows break down the dirt and stain repellent fibers that can be washed away by rain. This has been possible through the use of nanomaterials of unique chemical properties.